Okay, consider a uniform magnetic field B passing through a surface area A of a single turn coil as shown in a figure 1A and 1B. Okay, um, now so here you have uh, the coil. Uh, one, the first coil is uh, perpendicular to the magnetic field and the second coil is parallel to the magnetic field. So I want to find magnetic flux. So, okay, what is magnetic flux? Okay, this is the formula for magnetic flux, yeah, BA cos theta. Uh, especially uh, if you want, uh, we, we should take note about the theta. Theta is angle between uh, the normal, okay, normal area with magnetic field. Uh, uh, let's say you see this is the area, the coil area, okay. So the direction of the area is the normal line. Direction of the area is the normal line. Okay, so we or we can say the vector A. Vector A is always normal to the plane of coil. Okay, uh, so the vector A, uh, the angle between the vector A or the normal line, okay, the normal line with magnetic field, uh, angle between them, angle between normal and magnetic field is the angle theta over here. Uh, okay, so okay, so just take note like. Uh, Okay. okay, I want to write the formula over here. Uh, magnetic flux is uh, B dot A, the dot product uh, is B A cosine theta. Okay, cosine theta. So let's say this is the magnetic field. This is the magnetic field. And this is the area. Let's say this is the area from the side view. Uh, I'm actually looking from the side view. Uh, so this is the direction, the normal line. The normal line is the vector A. Yeah, or direction of the area. Okay. Uh, this is the magnetic field. So where is the angle theta? So the angle theta is actually angle between normal and angle between normal and magnetic field. Okay. Uh, so, alright, so, uh, so from this one, this example, this area is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Ah, uh, you see that? This is the vector A, the normal line. So, what is the angle between the normal line, the vector A, with the magnetic field? Yeah, zero degree. So, this one we can say, uh, the theta is uh, zero. Alright, the theta is zero. So, uh, so the magnetic flux is uh, equal to BA uh, cosine 0. Okay, BA cosine 0. Cosine 0 is uh, equal to 1. Yeah, if you press calculator, cosine 0 is 1. Uh, so, is BA. Uh, so, this case, this has a maximum flux. It has a maximum flux. Understand? Uh, when the theta is 0 degree. When the coil is perpendicular huh? when this this is the when the uh, when the coil when the coil is perpendicular to field okay uh, but uh, when the coil is parallel to field parallel to field uh, what will happen okay so let's check uh, the normal line Angle between the normal line and the magnetic field. Ah, uh, the the normal line and magnetic field. It is, uh, what is the angle? Ninety degree. Uh, the theta is, uh, equal to ninety, isn't it? Ah, uh, okay. Angle theta is angle between the normal line and the magnetic field. Ah, uh, so this one the normal line and magnetic field ninety degree. So that's the theta. Theta is 90. So for this case, theta uh, flux equal to BA cosine uh, 90. Uh, what is 90? Cosine 90 is equal to 0. Okay, cosine 90 equal to 0. Uh, so you will get answer uh, BA times 0. You get 0. Uh, 0 verbal. Verbal is the unit. Yeah, BA verbal 
Wobble <coughs> uh, is the unit for flux. Okay, so this one is uh, flux minimum. Uh, minimum flux. Okay, remember the cosine cosine graph. Okay, remember the cosine graph. Uh, cosine graph is this one, isn't it? Uh, cosine theta and theta. If cosine 0 is 1, cosine 90 is 0, isn't it? Uh, cosine 0 is 1, cosine 90 is 0. Uh, okay, uh, so so you can say uh, when the coil is perpendicular to the, see that? Coil perpendicular to field. This one, coil parallel to field. So when coil is perpendicular to field, it has the maximum flux. As you can see here, if the coil perpendicular to the field, it, it, it have a lot of magnetic field lines passing through. Like this one, you see you have one, two, three, four. You have four magnetic field lines passing through. Uh, so it has maximum flux. But when the coil is parallel to the field, it's none. None of the magnetic field line passing through. So it has no magnetic flux. Uh, the flux is minimum. Uh, so it makes sense, isn't it? When the coil is parallel to the field, there's no magnetic field line, no magnetic field line passing through the area. So the flux is zero. But when the coil is perpendicular to the field, uh, it has the most magnetic field line passing through the area. So it has the max maximum magnetic flux. Okay? So that's all for this part. Bye.